I turn around, now oh. there's 10 girls, dude. And they're like, please come have sex with us. And I'm like, Jesus, dude. Can't a man just go out and write poems so that how to save the world? These women were harassing you. They were harassing me. It was horrible. I'm like, dude, what kind of world can do I live in where you can't write a poem without 10 naked women trying to have sex with you? Dude. <laughs> i know the world has changed so much so long story long dude i just choked out the grizzly bears and i told those women to get a job and only fans doesn't count as a job <laughs> welcome back to another episode of the pull out podcast i'm cz kane here with phil and alejandro so you're gonna and, let uh, him take over your episode like that no i'm, I'm introducing that it's his episode because of all hundreds fucking he do dumb that idea not, not to me dude no one yeah. interrupts me no i did it for years too watch that podcast i think right? it's smarter for me to do the intro every time watch just because oh podcast? so he might have edited it out watch the podcast <laughs> I'm saying, did he edit the out? podcast dude. no i i watched it you didn't do the intro for me really yeah but i think it's smart for me to do the intro just because people who transfer over to my channel hey. they want to hear my voice first and today's Phil's episode. Phil wants um, to be a bitch too. Phil can be a bitch. If you want to support us, make sure to subscribe to our Patreon. Uh, you get cool uh, features such as uh, our Discord and uh, exclusive episodes or bonus clips. Um, and yeah. Oh, we're about to put that to the year. test, so don't worry. Now, uh, welcome to my episode. It's uh, I am your host, Phil the Writer, and today we're gonna experience a little bit of pain to start mm -hmm. off the episode. So you both are going to hit me as hard as you can in the stomach. And then I'm going to do the exact same no, thing. No, I'm out. There's no choice. I'm out. No, no, you don't have a no, choice. No, I can hit you in the stomach and then we end it there. But I'm not <laughs> going to let you hit me back. Uh, well, it's not your choice because it's my episode. It's so my body, your words. Your my words choice. where we're going to do whatever the host wants to do, even if it's some crazy oh, shit. Wait, wait, so what I'm getting from this is Phil doesn't care about consent. Oh, I mean, you could twist my words whichever way. What I'm getting from this. So if in my episode, I want you to bend over and Steezy pound you from the back, <laughs> you'll make that happen. Dude, why do you got to take it to the gay shit? What's wrong with being gay? A lot. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> dude, cancel checkpoint acquired, dude. <laughs> like a fucking accomplish, dude. I mean, disclaimer, you're joking. Well, of course. Yeah, dude, this is you, a can't, you can't just say that and and Stay not say quiet. you're joking yeah <laughs> no i mean it's a comedy podcast. by the way dude steezy's eating well like a gargoyle and the thing about Cocoa comedy Puffs. in 2021 is you, you have to say it's a joke no i understand if it's that. crazy which sucks you know you, even if you're fucking doing stand-up in a comedy show <laughs> and it's obvious that you're joking you got to tell the audience hey that joke i said about transgenders it's a joke nah fuck that you need to say in character because otherwise if you break the bit it doesn't work. It's kind of like a magician saying, oh, by the way, that's magic trick. You can't like remove the illusion that people are walking into. So if you can't handle a fucking joke, don't go into the comedy club. Fuck off. Now, back to regularly scheduled programming. What I want to do is it's not going to be like, dude, we're not Mike Tyson. We're not going to hurt ourselves. Well, but you're going to put yourself, a, dude. You're going to put a pillow in your stomach. And we're just going to take a shot each. And that's not a big deal. That's the stupidest thing ever, dude. That's how you end up hurt. You're not going to hurt, get hurt. It's a punch well, no, in I'm the saying stomach. For you, dude. dude. You're going to end up hurt. That's fine. No, I can not take fine. it. You can't take it. Yeah, I can. You can take it. Yeah, I can take it, dude. You can't take it. <laughs> I mean, y'all can try it. And after I see how y'all do, then I might join in. Uh, then, no, uh, dude, this is whack. Then let's not do the hosted podcast because this was kind of like a test to see how much dude, pressure he wants to punch us as hard as he can in our stomach. <laughs> dude, you're how gonna do you go from hey, dude, you can no, pick no, any gonna, topic you want to let me test it real quick? I want to punch you as I hard just as ate as a bunch of cereal, bro. Like, you saw me just eat I mean, I a, a whole, whole bowl of cereal. I, I ate a milk. whole meal, too. I feel like if you punch me right now, I'm just gonna explode. <laughs> yeah, dude, there's a difference between you can pick the topics and host it. No, I want to punch you on the stomach. That's whack as hard as I can. That's fucking whack. This pillow is fucking see through or punch through yeah, <laughs> um yeah Phil, i don't know about this one yeah man. dude punching us <laughs> as hard as you can i don't want to fuck up my body well, it just has to be as hard as you can it could be 50 percent power well that defeats the whole yeah, purpose defeats the whole purpose why because the the point of this is to see who's the strongest exactly well if you can well dude everyone has different tolerance towards 50 percent power yeah but you can't just like tell your fist hey 50% yeah, calculate. Exactly. It's sure gonna, you can. It's going to 
you're gonna i don't know you can't really determine 50 percent. right all right i can tell i'm here with two women now what's wrong with being with two women because you guys are we weaker you can't take a face. fucking punch dude how about we pu- punch each other in the face in the face we, <laughs> we, we start we start with you so me and alejandro punch you first then you punch us in the face and I we, will punch and you and in the face, you, by the way. It's we, not going to be like one of those And if we knock you out, it's done. You can't punch us anymore because you got knocked out. Dude, here's here's how it's going to go. I'm going to put on this glove, and both of you are going to receive a punch. Now, it can be consensual, and we can have a good time. What the or, fuck? <laughs> or, dude, this guy's a psycho, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Dude, why are you wearing those shorts? You know, dude, like from that angle, dude, that is the worst angle. I dude, apologize I, for everybody watching this <laughs> podcast, dude. I let my nuts hang, dude. dude. I'm here with my alpha energy. Come okay? on, bro. They're not hanging. They're suffocating. <laughs> it's fine, dude. They're a little shy right now. Now, tell me uh, a time where you experience a very large amount of physical pain in your life. Oh, easy. I mean, the Austin Wayne Bridge. jumped off the bridge. Uh okay, well walk us through that because I no, already did. Yeah, already literally did. the whole podcast he walked us through it, step by Dude, step. Dude, that's the only fucking time. Well, let me think of another. I actually I don't think I've ever had pain in my life before, like physical pain. Right. Why? Because you're built different. No, I'm saying like I've never had an accident to where I fall in a certain way. I've never broken any bones. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I've never had any pain. Like the Austin Bridge thing was like the only thing that hurt really bad. Yeah, I mean, um, I, I remember this time. What do you think? Um, yeah, one time I went to uh, this forest um, in Austin, hiking and shit. Yeah. And um, as I was hiking and climbing the rocks, you know, there's like this little thing on Mount Bonnell that you can climb to kind of get a better view. Well, you have view. to explain that. So it, it, it's sort of like a wooden frame. Right. That's like, f- what, eight feet tall, something right. like that? Yeah. So you climb on top of the wooden frame. Yeah. So it's like a little roof type thing. Like a little roof thing. Okay. And then when I was climbing it, dude, I climbed it with one hand. Uh, then I got on top pretty easy. I mean, mm-hmm. I, I don't know why people have trouble climbing that. It's so easy. You're like a monkey. Yeah, like a monkey, dude. and More like a silverback gorilla. Uh, <laughs> and then I saw the view, amazing view. Uh <laughs> I put my phone down, dude, because I was getting way too many just too many messages from girls. I'm like, dude, this is distracting. Put the phone down. Let me look at the view, right? Yeah. And then, dude, like, uh, there's like three women out there, dude, like on um, the side of me. They're like, hey, dude, come have sex with us, please. And I'm like, dude, no, dude, I'm, I'm here, dude, to experience nature. Look at the view. Go away with your sexual orgies, you know? Yeah. And then they get naked and they they dance around like, please come have sex with us. And I was like, no, dude. I said, no, go away. Right, and then you, sure you that, should have like a horror what, repellent. Was this, you know was how this they a have dream? No, no, it wasn't a dream, dude. Okay. Yeah. And okay. And then I take out my notepad and start writing poems. You know how to solve world hunger, <laughs> how to protect people who have weaknesses. Then I turn around. Now oh. there's ten girls, dude, and they're like, "Please come have sex with us." And I'm like, "Jesus, dude, can a man just go out and write poems? So that how to save the world?" These women were harassing you. They're harassing me. It was horrible. I'm like, dude, what kind of world can do I live in where you can't write a poem without ten naked women trying to have sex with you, dude? <laughs> I know the world has changed so much. So what yeah, do you dude. do afterwards? Uh, so afterwards, dude. I mean, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> afterwards, dude. I okay. climb back down, right? I climb back down, also with one hand. I'm like, dude, this is easy. Climb back down. That was and, a very important detail. And then, dude, when I climb back down. There's two grizzly bear gorillas, dude. <laughs> and grizzly bear gorillas? What the fuck is that, dude? <laughs> <laughs> fucking hybrid animal that a scientist <laughs> made or yeah, some are shit? They like, did they breed together? <laughs> <laughs> what did those look like? No, I mean, I'm sorry, I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Bro, that would be terrifying, Christ. actually. Think about it. A grizzly bear gorilla. Mo- yeah, a grizzly bear oh that moves as fast God. as a gorilla. That would be horrible. There's no way to defeat that animal. No, I bet there was two grizzly bears against a gorilla that's me i'm the gorilla right oh okay my God. so the grizzly, grizzly bears grizzly come out the, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> slow down a little okay, bit okay, okay, let me, it's yeah, a traumatic experience dude. that's yeah, why yeah. It's, it's <laughs> bring it back. so a grizzly bear comes out wait, dude. wait wait what are the 10 naked girls doing at this point oh they're still trying to have sex with me dude i'm like dude i'm about to wrestle two grizzly bears <laughs> relax dude take it easy let me finish this guys off right 
So the two of the grizzly bears come out, okay. dude, and they 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 surround me like this, dude. Right? They're trying to they're trying to pin me down. That was after you finished the guys off, right? No. Oh. <laughs> uh, so then, uh, you know, no. for, for some reason, dude, this grizzly bear started talking, no. right? and they're like, Alejandro, we're gonna get you. And I'm like, all right, dude, yeah. let's do this shit. So, dude, I fucking you know beat up the grizzly bears. That's it, dude. I choked them out. Yeah. <laughs> I fucking choked the fuck out of them, dude. That's How'd all. you choke out both of them? Taught them a lesson. Huh? Just what fucking grabbed them like that. The oh, so yeah, dude. <laughs> uh, so long story long, dude. I just choked out the grizzly bears and I told those women to get a job. And OnlyFans doesn't count as a job. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, damn. Another canceled checkpoint. It counts as an entrepreneur. <laughs> What the <laughs> fuck, dude? That was the worst backpedaling I've ever had. It counts had. as a corporation. It counts as a corporation. There you go. It counts, it as, counts a, as an entrepreneur. No, what's <laughs> a, it counts as a company, dude. So, so you're telling me that someone who wrestled two grizzly bears can't take a punch from a 165 pound man? No, no. I'm, I was worried for you because when you said we had to punch you first, I'm like, I can't do that to Phil. Like, well, how, how am I gonna tell his mom he died? Like, hey, dude, your de- your son's dead. I can't yeah, have that conversation. That's fine. So let me just punch you then. Well, no, do you? Because you will break your hand, and I don't want you to break your hand. Because you started boxing. No, because here's the thing. On. While this is, by the way, this happened last week. <laughs> I went to the doctor, okay, because he was like, "Hey, what the fuck is going on?" No, I said, "What the fuck is going on with my hand?" You know, I I just been feeling like a whole bunch of pain in my wrist because my wrist is all fucked up. So he replaced it with a bionic arm. Okay, it's made out of metal. It's like a robot. When arm. did you go to the doctor? Last week. That so is impossible, when, dude. When did this when did this podcast turn into a bunch of fairy tale stories? <laughs> no, 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 dude. That, that's it's, not a fa- it's not a fairy tale that, story. It's not a fairy tale story. Here's why it's impossible. Because I went to the same doctor and I got my two arms bionically replaced and it takes a month. So what's it's impossible go- yeah. for it to what's take a week. What's going on? <laughs> that's how I know you're lying, dude. Listen. Turn that's in, fi- that's turn. fine because he has a twin brother who's also a doctor <laughs> and gave me that bionic arm. Now, what? now. I have the bionic arm, so it, there's no danger of me breaking my arm. <laughs> so therefore, that's a green light to buy. <laughs> <laughs> this podcast, this podcast turned into a a low selling fiction book. Oh my god, uh, low selling, low selling, dude. Yeah, because these stories are bro. My story about terrible two, ten naked women trying to fuck me as two. Gri- <laughs> I said choke out two grizzly bears, <laughs> two grizzly bears. Anyways, um, two grizzly bear gorillas. <laughs> <laughs> I was at I was at boxing today, and the the coach is there. Let me it, guess. He comes out in a beam of light and says, "You are the chosen one." No, while you everyone. while he strokes your uh, bionic <laughs> arm. <laughs> a stroke. Bionic yeah, arm. I don't think that's legal. But um, uh, no, it was. This is a regular story. Don't worry. Okay. Like <laughs> like, a, like a true story. Yeah, it's a true story. Okay. Okay. They gotcha. were all true stories. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what y'all are talking about. No, but uh, we're doing we're doing a workout, and they the coaches roast you. So now they got like after the first two classes, they were like very nice to me, and I don't know what the fuck it was. They're like, "Oh, hey, Phil, how's it going?" And I was like, "Oh, how's it going?" And they're like, uh, they they started punching me in the stomach as we we're doing like back work. I'm like, "Damn, okay." And they're like, "That form is shitty. Like, what the fuck are you doing?" Like they didn't. Well, they they're like that form is shitty. You got to move quicker. Like if you're right here, bam, bam. And they like started punching me in the stomach, and I was like, "Holy shit!" And they roast the shit out of this guy, and dude, the whole class was laughing. I felt so bad for him. Can you because, roast him back? Uh, yeah, because you missed the point. It's just like, what the fuck? Uh, I'm. I mean, I don't know. Just don't be stupid. Don't get roasted. Don't get caught lacking, and then you won't get roasted. How about that? How about just be better? Are any know? of these coaches bald? Uh, I think one of them. No, he's not bald. He shaved his head. You could see like the little fucking thing. And he's uh, like a foot h- taller than me. He's a big fucker. Like he's like, he has the most calm voice in the world, but I look up to him like physically looking up. So I feel like if I roast him back, he could just take my head off like a fucking corkscrew, like nothing. Just like, right. bye. Uh, but each one of us had to do an ab workout. And he was like, all right, um, you know, David, your turn. Uh, you know, what kind of ab workout? And he's like, oh, I guess we'll just do crunches. Damn, you do abs like you fuck missionary. No one's ever going to fuck you. Now, this is literally the fucking coach is saying this. And like, I don't know how to react initially, 
But the rest <laughs> did. Everyone starts laughing, and then the other coach starts getting up in him. Right. And he was like, yeah, he doesn't know how to fuck. He probably doesn't have a girlfriend or anything like that. If if that coach ever tells me that, dude, I would literally spend my whole life and my all my savings <laughs> to fuck his wife and record it. <laughs> and I will go back to the gym, and he says that nobody will ever fuck you. Well, your wife did, and I will put up a projector <laughs> and show me fucking his wife. Yeah. I mean, that is one way to approach it. Thank now, you. one of the coaches uh, is a woman. <laughs> so while we wife. Fuck her wife? Fuck it, her husband. Oh, <laughs> fuck it, dude. Okay. <laughs> I'm committed to the bit, dude. <laughs> um, have you guys ever been in a fight? Like, uh, because th- those were a shitty dude, story. Does it look like we've been in a fight? Well, I know not. Like, basically, I asked initially, hey, have you ever been in a, a, a large amount of physical pain? And... I got basically, oh, I f- jumped off a fucking bridge in this fairy tale story, <laughs> in which I'm just like, okay, so he's basically wrestling grizzlies and having fake orgies. <laughs> now, <laughs> what's like a... It was what's, all legal. What's a, what's a time in your life that you guys have been... <laughs> legal? Who said it was otherwise? Anyways. Uh, no, he said it was legal. Yeah. Okay. Why would it not be legal? I don't no, know. No, he's not saying it was not legal. He said it was legal. It was legal. No, but why would you even have to say that? Well, because one time I choked out four grizzly bears and they were trying to take me to jail, dude. Because <laughs> I can't go to forest and choke out grizzly bears. Is that so code name for something? This one was legal, dude. I choked out these two grizzly bears because they weren't supposed to be there. Mm. <laughs> Took them out. <laughs> Took them out, dude. So, yeah, so that's just a regular hobby that you do? Just, just choke out grizzly bears? <laughs> <laughs> grizzly bears or grizzly bear gorillas? <laughs> grizzly bear gorillas, dude. Fuck it, bro. Dude, that would be amazing <laughs> if somebody could animate a grizzly bear gorilla. You know, have you seen? Have you guys seen those renders on YouTube where it's like ten thousand eagles versus ten thousand, like oh, a thousand? Yeah. Dude, it's so much fun to yeah, look at that is, shit. It <laughs> you haven't, Cezy, have you? No. Yeah, well, basically, there's like a render, like somebody literally renders like a thousand gorillas versus ten thousand eagles, because you know those fucking questions that they say, "Who would win in a fight, a thousand gorillas or ten thousand eagles?" Where they actually play it out. Okay, who hmm. won? The Eagles. There's too many fucking Eagles. I guess gorillas? Yeah. That's impossible. I mean... Well, Eagles eagles could like just fly around them and just like peek like peek at them. A gorilla would grab the Eagle and just... Yeah, but there's a thousand of them. And no, there's the 10,000. Oh, 10,000. And the gorilla how, has two How hands. many gorillas? One. Uh, a thousand. Oh, a thousand gorillas? One? Oh. Maybe. Well, then, yeah. Yeah, I maybe. Mean, I thought it was 10,000 against 10,000. Okay. Yeah, a thousand versus 10,000 Eagles? That's a lot of fucking Eagles, Yeah. Dude. Um, well, no, well, uh, going back to the fucking question, like if you haven't experienced in a large amount of pain, what about physical strain? Like the time where you felt like you were going to die as an example, like us climbing that shit at Yosemite and oh, that was uh, easy. So what is the time in your life that you exerted the most amount of physical effort? Look at us, dude. Does it look like we exerted Jesus Christ, of physical dude. effort? <laughs> <laughs> so you're talking to the wrong guys dude, dude. literally i'm asking get these questions bed, as i'm asking these questions i'm just like this is not the right crowd <laughs> <laughs> getting out of bed was pretty hard this morning dude pretty hard this morning damn all right what's something what's something physical that you guys have always wanted to do were there like an iron man like 10 marathons oh. like the you know do the you know that fucking cycling tournament that they do in france where it's yeah, like the, one of the most fucking uh, intense things you can do tour de france yeah huh there saw you saw that so what i did there no me neither um but what's something like you know if you could train and do all this um dude, okay relax. <laughs> yeah <laughs> dude, what the <laughs> fuck dude, what's going no, on no, no, here? okay let's be serious it's serious serious time well dude usually people start with for example me and then you kind of guide us through it well i'll give you an example what was like, your example what did you do tour de france no no but you <laughs> no like i'm taking uh, i'm talking about like I'm taking, taking, oh. Oh. <laughs> no, 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 no. grizzly gorilla what the fuck is that dude what the fuck is a grizzly gorilla anyways something that i've always wanted to do <laughs> is fight a grizzly gorilla no, oh. go, go oh, for just made that sound with his mouth <laughs> no no but that's a very familiar sound. Oh, but who, who, what's going on, dude? <laughs> what do you want to fight? Are you, how many 10K miles do you want to do? 10K miles you want to do? What the fuck? Dude, this <laughs> is like the last three brain cells. 
<laughs> There's something about like the the sunset that you guys want to see that just depleted all fucking <laughs> brain I, I capacity. Just, I just imagine people listening to this in their car with their windows down and they're at a red light and then the other guy has their windows down and they're just looking at him like, "What the fuck are you listening to?" <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, it's true. Well, dude, give us an example. What do you want to accomplish? I and will I'll tell you mine. Yeah, I'll give you an example. I think something really cool would be uh, an Iron Man. Mm. So an Iron Man is a hundred miles swimming. A hundred miles swimming? Yeah. Are you sure? That's yeah. way too many miles. No, that's impossible. No, it's possible. A hundred miles? Yeah. How many days do you get? Um, Dude, didn't somebody swim from Florida? Bro, to do you Puerto know how Rico? many a hundred miles is? D- yeah. Right. Didn't somebody swim from Florida to Puerto Rico? Uh, Florida to Puerto she, Rico. I'm I sure. I can't remember if she Dude. swam or she was in a boat. I can bet you right now. I mean, people go to from they escape Cuba to go to Florida all the time. Well, yeah. not all the time, but they used to a lot. The boats, dude. There's no way an Iron Man's a hundred miles. Can you look swimming. that up? Can you see like what are the events at Iron Man? How much you want to bet? It's not a hundred miles, dude. I'm not gonna bet with you because well, it's be like saying shit, you're, no, no. You have to say a don't number. You can't just say I, how do you want to bet? It's not a hundred miles. Because well, you brought up a hundred miles. No, fuck, dude. The odds on that bet are shitty. Of course, yeah. I'm not gonna bet. That. Well, there you go, dude. Then don't be saying shit. So I know it's cycling, running, and swimming. Right. Swimming, uh, because I swam before, it's fucking... It might be 10 miles, dude, swimming. I don't think it's... The longest distance ever uh, swum without flippers in open sea is... Swam. It it literally says swum. S-W-U-M. Yeah, swum. Yeah, that's correct. Steezy's correct. Uh, I do not think that's correct. Steezy's correct. Uh, It was 139.8 miles. Yeah. No, but look up... Iron Man events distance. Well, first, let me look up if swum is a real word. No, it is. Um, S-W-U-M. Is swum a real wor- word? Swum is a standard past. Yeah, it's a real word. Damn. I mean, dude, I know this. Let me look up. Can we just ask fucking... Swam is actually used to be incorrect, but they... Uh, I guess people were saying that more, so they added it. Mm. Uh, wait, Iron Man? Iron Man events distance. <clears throat> I think biking is 100 miles. So... Oh, what well, these guys 2. are... 2.4 mile swim, dude. You literally went from 100 miles <laughs> to yes, 2, two miles. <laughs> this motherfucker literally said 100 that, miles, dude. I've Did never that, heard of Iron Man before. And the, how much? Robert how many of those Jr. words even came out of your mouth, dude? How much? How much? Uh, what's the distance on running and uh, dude, cycling? This motherfucker said a hundred <laughs> miles swim. I mean, some of the dude, way you said that, you didn't think. I wonder how much a hundred so miles is, dude. So when you said grizzly bear, <laughs> that was true. 100 Gorilla, a hundred miles isn't that far to swim. Well, it's not that far, like, I'm talking about in general. No, it is pretty fucking Because Las Vegas is like 300 miles away. Wait, you said someone swam 139 miles, right? Yeah. Yeah, but that's the world record. Okay. That's, that's, a, that's the furthest ever sw- swam. Ever swam, dude. Okay, anyways, what are the other New events? Lord, swam. New words. We beat this guy, dude. I mean, you literally learned it like 40 seconds ago. No, that's what, what I'm saying, th- New Word. New Word. New Word. You know what I'm saying, dude? We get smarter every day. Yeah, smarter every podcast. It's here. People listen to the podcast got a lot smarter. Swamp. Use it in your vocabulary today. Tell your mom, hey, I swamp. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? See what she says. I don't think and tag anyone us on Instagram. Hit. Record that and tag us so we can see it when you do I, that. I promise you, no, I've never heard anyone say swamp in a fucking conversation. I swam up your butt crack. No, I night. swim up up your butt ah. crack. What? <laughs> what? All right, so what? Okay, the so vents, I, dude. What dude, are the vents? You're the one with the fucking hose. Dude. You should be playing wait, this on wait, your phone, what, dude. Wait, the phone. On. My phone is being recording right here. Oh, the yeah. fuck, dude. I mean, dude. The event is two point four to? mile run, dude. The Iron Man. Yeah, events? Iron Man. Events. Yeah, two point four mile swim. Swim and a hundred twelve mile bike ride and a twenty six mile run. There you go. Yeah, so it's basically a marathon. You have to do all of those. Right. Yeah, you have to do all the. You start swimming, then you bike, then you run. So you basically swim two and a half miles, you bike 112, and, you get and then you seven, do a marathon. You get 17 hours to complete all. 17 hours. Yeah. And it usually takes a, the swimming part takes two hours and 20 minutes. Jesus. Um, yeah. So, I mean, you have 17 hours to do all that shit. 
Yeah, I think that would be cool to to be able to do. That's feasible. Now, that I'm not one of these crazy. guys saying I want to run 100 miles because there's like 100 mile. Uh, there's like 40 people who've done 100 miles. Like, in don't they fuck up their bodies? I mean, they have to drain their knees afterwards because there's some built built up like joint liquid. What? Because the there's a liquid fuck? between uh, you know these That's people fucking, who practice so I much. I don't like to think about that. Yeah, they it's a huge ass needle. They stick it here and they. Sh- Oh, you know, and fuck. I saw a video of that, and I regret seeing it because afterwards I was like, "I'm good. I'll just fucking swim." Um, but what about you guys? It could be like Tour de France. It could be anything, I guess. I mean, Tour de France is way cooler than fucking Iron Man, or even like, yeah, like if you could pick an event, like what would you want to do if you could practice? Hmm. I mean, I mean, of course, I mean, do the classic do win the World Cup? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> every time i play soccer i get hurt i don't know if i'm cursed i think a witch cursed me dude they oh, knew that witch gonna, next to your house they knew <laughs> i was gonna be the best soccer player in the world and they said dude i can't allow this uh, and something's been trying to stop me so i probably go to church to get blessed get fixed up and then i'll start training for or the world it might Cup. be very sudden explosive movements with very too little to no fucking warm-up or stretching at all also that dude. <laughs> uh but dude I'll try my best, dude. Like, once I get a lot of money and all these millions and shit, I'll probably go to the mountains, dude. Hire a couple old men, you know, who are, like, senseis, you know, just train yeah. me. For, like, two years straight, just fucking train up in the mountains, dude. Fucking cold showers, freezing showers. Running, dude, for 10 hours straight. You know how you see an anime, dude? Just yeah. fucking eating fucking grass and pasta and fucking all these medicines and herbs. And then come back down to earth, dude, and then fucking sign up for the... Play, pay the Mexican team, dude. Pay, give them like, here's $50,000. Let me fuck. Oh, no. Here's $100,000, dude. Let me try out for the team. You know what I'm saying? Try out for the team. Like, Is that how it as works? In, like, you might still not get accepted? No, I'm just saying. Uh, or $100,000 to get in the team. Well, I don't know how it works, dude. I think you have to. Okay. <laughs> I think I think you have to play He's for like. like a, yeah, I think I throw money at it. No, and you have to play for like itself. a normal it's like mexican team and then they fucking choose you to be in like the national team uh but yeah i'll just fucking with money get my way to the fucking national soccer team dude beat everybody the fuck up and then just fucking win the world cup simple now, now easy. You're, you're talking about the like top one percent of professional soccer players you're gonna not only that you're talking about like defeating the best teams in the world who right. have the best players in the world. Right. Because each country picks the best players from each league. Right. You understand? Yeah. So you're talking about that. And then you're talking about going into this tournament where all the countries send the fucking top athletes. And then somehow out of 50 teams or however many there are. Right. You're going to end up in the fucking finals. Right. And you're going to win the World Cup. Which, yes. by the way, happens every, every four, four years. years. So. Yeah. I mean, pl- according to my calculations, I should have won three World Cups by now, but I <laughs> fucked up my knee, dude. So, uh, can't do that anymore. 12 years ago, you weren't even fucking... How old were you 12 years ago? I think I was supposed to play my first World Cup at 17, dude. According to my calculations. Dude, there's a... Those calculations were way off, dude. Yeah, fuck how, what the ass. fuck kind of calculator are you using? Uh, yeah. There's a... there The French guy who won the World Cup, uh, he's like 18. He's the youngest player, yeah. which is crazy, dude. His name is Mbappe. Mbappe, something Definitely like that. not his name. Dude, he just lost uh, the Euro Cup. He missed the penalty and then his team lost. No way. So that's what you get, dude, for winning the World Cup. Now you lose this. Welcome to my world, <laughs> dude. Failure town. Well, what about you, Season? You have an answer. What's like a, a physical feat that you would want to challenge yourself? Um, Could be anything. It doesn't even have to be something like recorded. You're like, I want to lift up. 100 camels or some shit like that. Maybe climb uh, climb uh, this cock. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> climb Mount Everest. Uh, yeah, uh, what the fuck? You went from this cock to Mount Everest? It's the same thing, dude. It would probably be it's like... The same thing. It, it would probably be hiking. <laughs> hiking? Yeah, like... Oh, you want to hike Runyon Canyon? No, That's no, 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 no. Like Mount Everest or... Uh, even something small that I want to do, even like I want to do it this year, is yeah. hike Mount Shasta. It's a two day hike, but it's basically Jesus. it's the, it's a mountain in like near Sacramento, California. Let's go right now, bro. Um, it's basically like a mini Mount Everest. It, it's 
you know, it's very it's snowy at the top. I feel like everyone says that about any mountain. Oh, it's like a mini Mount Everest. Mount Everest, you know how tall that shit is? It's how, fucking tall. How tall? Yeah, I wonder I don't how long know. I'm takes, asking. Give me statistics. I was asking a question. No, no, you said, you know how tall it is? That's not asking a question. That is a question, Mark. Nope. Then. Do you know? No, it is a question. Because he's already, asking if you I'm know. I'm already trying to roast him, dude. What's going on, dude? <laughs> team are you on, dude? You're my team, dude. You're in this couch. We're against whoever's there, dude. It's us versus there. The fuck, bro? Did he stab you? I, I got a little back, sneak dude. attack from the back. I'm like, hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, uh. then you start getting roasted. <laughs> bro, it takes two months to hike Mount Everest. No fucking way. That's crazy. What? Two months? Holy fuck! It, it, it's it's um up and down though. So a month to hike up, a month to hike down. It's mm. probably less to hike down, but yeah. No, hiking down is is harder. Because like yeah, you've hiked Mount Everest before or what? Well, I've hiked oh, other shit. mountains that are over half the size of Mount Everest. Yeah. Damn. Over half the size? No. Yeah. If they're over half the size, kidding, why would you say know. your goal is to hike this little Mount Mount Everest? No, I'm, I was just kidding. I just needed to, you know. I mean, I know you were kidding. <laughs> retort. <laughs> Re what? Retort. Okay, I thought you said the other word. Retarded. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Uh, so you would want to hike Mount Everest. That'd be like your thing. I mean, after seeing how long it takes, um, I mean, dude, we're talking about like, you can pay someone to hike it for you. What the <laughs> fuck, dude? What? <laughs> they no. just put on your mask. They put like a mask of you at the top and take a picture. Yeah. How long does it take I to did. <laughs> Mount Shasta? Dude, that'd be hilarious if you're just a billionaire and you're like, hey, I'll pay you a million dollars if you just hike it. Yeah, but you need to get plastic reconstructive surgery to look like <laughs> to me. look like. Me. You're like, yeah, that's me at the top of Mount Everest. You were with me last month. Dude, what if they fun? just kill you, and they take your spot? Who? The guy who just fucking you pay all the plastic surgery to make him look like you. Well, he just kills you, dude. That's a good plot to a movie. Ever Pe- seen that? People have died hiking Mount Shasta. What that's the fuck? crazy. No, that that's but like you know uh, in GTA Mount Chiliad. That no. big ass mountain in the back of the map, that mountain is uh is recreated from Mount Shasta in real life. Mm. Um, but obviously in the game it's way smaller. I think that uh, like every time I see like hiking stories of people dying and shit like that is you know being overconfident and underprepared. Like oh yeah, let's go on this two day hike. It's like dude, you're uh, this is not a video game. You don't respawn if you fucking slip and fall. And you you're not gonna have any cell phone signal, I imagine, either. So this is Mount Shasta. Kind of dangerous. Damn. Looks like that's Japan. a big fucking mountain, bro. Yeah. So it's like cold. It's snowing shit. Yeah, that's why I said it's like a mini Mount Everest. Fuck. Because it's all covered in snow. Who would you go with? Um, just someone who's not a pussy. Damn. Damn. How's that a damn? You could have just said I would go with y'all. <laughs> how, how how do you know that I'm not already saying that? Well, he said someone who's not a pussy, so uh, you wouldn't go with Sneeko, I guess. That was so random. What do you what do you have against Sneeko? Dude, it's fine. I'm trying to like market the boxing match. That's all. You don't have to market it. Dude. We also know Sneeko's a bitch. <laughs> There's nothing. To I don't think y'all are in the same like clout level. That's fine, dude. Of course not. I mean, it's for but, a blog. If I could knock out someone from my blog, I would do it. <laughs> So I get a video out of it, you know? Yeah, I guess, uh, yeah, hiking is scary. Like, what about the ocean? Would you guys, like, go deep in the Fuck ocean? Fuck the ocean, um, dude. Fuck the ocean. <laughs> Actually, I saw somebody, um, somebody, how would you call it? Kayaked? Yeah. From Hawaii to Australia or something. Fuck and no. And it took her six months. Bro, it took her six fucking months. Dude, you would die. She just finished. I think like a I don't think few you can ago. kayak. Fuck no, you can't kayak. No, she no. did, bro. You can take a she boat from Hawaii you to Australia. A, I think it was actually California. Kayak, California to Australia in a oh, kayak. Let me look it up. Let me look no, it up. I don't let think it's called it kayak, dude. You dude, you understand? There's boat. like a hundred foot waves in your little fucking place. No, 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 there's no waves. You take in a, the middle of the ocean. Waves only form near islands and like land. What so, the fuck? Well, if there's a storm, yeah, but those aren't really waves. It's more like. What do you call those? I don't know. Just like distortion of the water. This, dude, they're called waves. <laughs> no, you, there's no waves in the and also, ocean. 
both Australia and Hawaii are islands. Yeah, I know. But when you start, if you go 100 feet out into the ocean, dude, you, when you go surfing, you'll see when you paddle out, you only have to paddle out like 30 feet. There's no waves. So this bitch basically. Like literally there's no waves. She, went out, she went out to die. She didn't die though. Well, let me look it up. All right. Are there waves in the ocean? Oh my God. What can I. S- dude, there are what, lots. Dude? Look, watch. This is what Google says. There are lots of types of waves in the ocean, but the waves you usually see at the beach are created by the wind. When the wind blows over the smooth ocean, creates little waves. So they are waves. They're just different type of waves. No, no, no. So search are there waves in the middle of the ocean? Uh, oh, right there, right there. They exist in the inside the ocean. These waves are called internal waves. Uh, you probably haven't heard. No, I think season might be no, right, yeah, dude. Yeah, see, read all of it, dude. I mean, it cuts off. It doesn't N- say anything. If you are like most people, you probably haven't seen or heard of an internal wave. But since internal waves occur deep in the ocean rather than at sea surface, they have some unique characteristics. Distortion of the water. See, they're not waves. Well, they are waves, but not the ones we see. Dude, come on. I surf. Oh my god! How many times have you been surfing this year? Uh, actually, a lot. I started surfing in January. You said this year? Yeah. I don't know. Lost count. Dude, probably less than twenty. Nah, more. More than twenty. Yeah, it has to be more than twenty. No way. And I could say that confidently. Um, yeah, definitely over twenty. What if you surf the tsunami? So, uh. I think there's a surfer who's sur- – there's the name – There, there's a huge wave, like 100-foot wave that – I forget the name of it, but these pro surfers always want to go to. But, like, you die if you fall, by the way. It's like instant death. Like, I mean, the, all that fucking pressure and you're rolling. You're basically rolling underwater forever. And you yeah. hit against a coral and you hit your head, so you're fucked. Now, there's, like, people have successfully done it. Obviously, there's people who have died and seen videos of it. He's like this little tiny blimp. And Cena gave me anxiety, so I'm like, fuck no, I would never surf like <laughs> even a 20 foot wave. Won't, dude. won't there be like sharks there or whales? I think that's the that least big? of your worries, dude. Like, dude, you have to be on fucking a thousand percent brain power, just like, okay, I'm about to go in. Because if you go in like the barrel or whatever, and like any miscalculation, and you're like, oh, I'm falling, that's like the, you're wait, wait. dying. Let me interrupt real quick. Okay, yeah, so she went from Japan to san francisco california six thousand miles and yeah it's not a kayak but it's like a it's a fucking big ass boat no 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 that's not a big boat she's she's still rowing she's doing the paddling there's no motors and the thing this is worse because the boat is 775 pounds and she's doing all of that so that's worse than a kayak how many uh, how many worse than a kayak how much time did it take no because you got to fucking no, dude, you, it's seven hundred seventy. Yeah, but you don't pounds. have to do it constantly, dude. <clears throat> and it took her six months. Why would Damn. you do that? I mean, bro, imagine the accomplish the accomplishing feeling that you have once you get into San Francisco, and you eat, and then you fucking get in your fucking hotel room and just sleep. Like, yeah. And she got on the news and everything. She broke a world record. How do we know she actually shit. did it? Did I mean, she could have picked like uh, in the middle of the ocean, just <laughs> yeah. She has a little hidden motor. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy, bro. That is insane because uh, the first thing that I'm thinking of is like a kraken or some fucking animal in the middle just like can literally tip you over and then you're fucked. Or rape you. Krakens can rape you. That is true. The That's scientific accurate. Fucking kraken, dude. Crack me open. You know what I'm saying? I think That's, That's where they get the good. name. Yeah. The kraken. Yeah, dude. The ocean is scary as fuck, dude. <laughs> Yeah, that is one place where, like, I think it's made out of uh, God's nightmares. Dude. Like, that's where he sends his nightmares. Just, like, so the Mariana Trench is, like, the deepest trench that we know of, at least. It's, like, 900 feet or, like, a kilometer. Uh, No, we can only go a kilometer, but it's, like, multiple. It's deep. Right. And they show sort of, like, the layers of the ocean. I was watching this picture. There's a point where there's, like, zero light doesn't go in, obviously. Because it, it's way too dark. And well, it's not that it's way too dark. It's way too deep for light to go in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, I think a recurring nightmare that I have is being at the bottom of the ocean. Fuck. And it's pitch black. Holy and you can't do Just imagine yourself shit. like this. Like, and there's water all oh. around you and it's black. And, and then you hear the like, fucking sounds. Oh. oh my God, dude. And you feel something oh. in your leg. And then you see like a little 
like ball of light in the distance oh getting, getting God, bigger I don't and it's one of those oh those God. anglet fishes oh the anglet ang- angler fish angler fish yeah yeah dude being in the middle of dude, the ocean and you know what would be worse having a flashlight on your head it's actually worse than not seeing anything <laughs> obviously <laughs> and you still want to be able to see shit yeah, yeah but let, let's say you were able to see like three feet in front of you dude that would be the worst because if you look down and you feel something in your feet and you just see a fucking thing skedaddle and you're like... Bro, I, I know that there's, there's, I guess, mammals at the bottom of the ocean that we just have never discovered for mm-hmm. sure. Yeah. And, you know, we, we we don't know of the ocean more than we don't know of space. Yeah. Uh, because, like, we can't see it and we can't... It's hard to travel through it. Yeah, there's so less than... I bet uh, there's, like, some dark shit down there. Some alien type shit that we've never even fucking less than 30 percent of. of the ocean well just think about story. this then if we you know supposedly our fucking civilized and shit we got cars all this shit right we can't go down there right because it's impossible no it's possible it's just it takes a long time to explore it no no but exactly right so it takes a long yeah. time it's really hard what if there's a whole world in the ocean and there's people living like us and they have cities and shit but to them dude, to create something to go up it's also really hard and impossible. No, for them it would be easy. All you have to do is just make a <laughs> contraption and it. No, that's the, that's what you think. But think about it, dude. They're they're because the pressure of the ocean keeps the pressure of the air keeps us together. Mm-hmm. If you get rid of the pressure of the air, we would explode. Because there's pressure pushing on your body, keeping you together. That's why when you go deeper in the ocean, there's more pressure, and that's why you get crushed. Things get crushed in the bottom of the ocean because there's so much pressure, everything gets crushed. Yeah. So dude, if they come up, they will explode. Because their bodies are used to so much pressure yeah. that if they come up, they will explode immediately. Yeah, yeah. So that's why it's also hard for them to build anything. You're talking like they're fucking real. <laughs> it's very yeah. hard for these bottom of the ocean <laughs> yeah. dwelling where, 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 people, where society. Did, where, did, where, did, where did this knowledge no, come from? No, because no, I'm thinking that if, if... Like, that's actually a good point. If there's this whole world here and we yeah. can't reach that world, then you can also conclude that there must be this whole world down there that they can't reach this world. So personally, I've always wanted to do this. This is more of a fantasy uh, kid type dream. You know how like uh, Bezos has like the space exploration and Elon Musk. I want the ocean exploration. Like literally put billions forth. Like if I ever get that rich, that's exactly what I would do. And mm. dude, Because you have to understand like. It would be cool. Um, the, so there's uh, like giant squids that are fucking humongous. And they there's some of them that have huge chunks just biting, bitten out of them. Fuck. So like. <laughs> I, I think there's dinosaurs just roaming down there yeah just chilling and um who knows what kind of vegetation too like there might be like this weird fucking tree with a different fruit that'll cure every known disease or it could expand you know or grow um, your cock yeah or you eat a fish and you become six foot five give me that fucking fish right now dude let's go to the ocean <laughs> trip to the ocean everybody <laughs> find the fucking fish the little glimmer in, in your eyes are like oh the fish of height <laughs> yeah no i mean the um, the ocean is oh dude that'd be so fun i don't know what the fuck we're wasting our time trying to space explore dude well dude i mean it's expensive as fuck to go to the ocean and no one no one yeah but look it's at more space. expensive to go to space yeah dude but it's not glamorous like no one hypes up the ocean everybody hypes up space and the stars and all this shit no one gives a fuck about the yeah, ocean. Yeah, if I ever become a billionaire, I would be like the the Bezos of the ocean. I'm not even kidding. I would like... like Ocean? F- huh? Huh? <laughs> Brain cells. What would you uh, call your uh, spaceship to the ocean? <laughs> <laughs> spaceship to the ocean? Yeah, yeah, my if, ocean if ship? If anything, ocean ship. Submarine. Yeah. yeah, this fucking submarine. Your submarine, what would you call it? Uh, let me see. Uh, the rapist <laughs> holy shit <laughs> <laughs> what it, no, I don't get Phil always does that like he always just says the most random outrageous like <laughs> cancel worthy shit no 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 because he, he's, try, he's trying to explore the ocean without the ocean's consent yeah how do, how do you ask the ocean oh my god for consent no um, I would call, I would call mine the cock 9000 no, I would call minus cliche. I would call it the Nautilus because the Nautilus is from that book, uh, Ten Thousand Leagues Under the Sea. Dude, stick with rapists, dude. The Nautilus, <laughs> <laughs> the Nautilus. The other day was way better, dude. <laughs> the Nautilus. <laughs> now that sounds creepier, dude. Yeah. No, I mean I, uh, uh, dude. The the I'm gonna that book is so much fun. I just remember that book. Like the ocean is such a dude. It's a whole world 
beneath us. And like we're out there trying to go into space. Dude, it's going to be hundreds of years before there's any sort of like, you know, Mars population or anything, or we can take a bus to Mars or some shit like that. A it's like, bus? Dude, yeah, I don't know, space bus. Dude, fuck all that. Grab that money and fucking put it in the ocean. What if you could explore the ocean and like build cities under there and like they're self sustaining and all of a sudden like uh, all this other shit? I mean, yeah. I mean, Atlantis, dude. Well, yeah, that's mythical, though. You know what I'm saying? Is it? Maybe not. That would be sick. Um, but yeah, uh, just to bring into a wrap then. Well, what are you bringing to a wrap? Yeah, I mean... It's, we're at 45, yeah. so... Yeah. It's, it's, it's I mean, it's, honestly, the episodes that are an hour do way better than short episodes. Yeah? That's what I've seen. Well, let's try the short episodes for a decent amount, because we'll only have, like, two. <laughs> yeah, saying. I mean... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, thank you guys for listening. Ah! What? I do the outro. Okay, go ahead. Anyway, <laughs> Jesus Christ, bro, you blew everybody's ears. Well, dude, before out. you do that, I have one last question, dude. Oh my god! <laughs> you know what I'm saying it's one last question. Okay. Dude. Let's say you can go to the ocean, right? Let's say you find a fucking door to the ocean, yeah. right? <laughs> a door to the ocean? Yeah. I mean, What's I don't need on? a door. I could just drive to the ocean. I'm going okay. down here? No, no. But I'm saying like to, to the bottom. To the bottom of the ocean, okay. right? And um. <laughs> What, why are you, what, why is he laughing? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> I just felt like, I don't know why in my head I was like, what if you find a door to the ocean, you open it, and I'm naked there? <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand. I don't understand Phil's humor. You see what I'm saying? Like, it's so random. <laughs> So random. If it is my joke, my Oh my god, dude! Don't be the most random thing in the world. If it is <laughs> Can you imagine it? Someone tells you oh, this is a door to the bottom of the ocean, ocean and all hundreds of chicks are there. Out. What so, the fuck? Anyways, so yeah. dude, let's say you know you do all this hard work, you become a famous YouTuber, you philanthropist, you make all this money, right? <laughs> and then you throw a lot of hard work, you build a submarine that can go to the bottom of the ocean. Yeah, and then you find this door, and it's really hard to open the door. Mm. And you spend a lot of money. Yeah. And then finally, after 20 years, you are able to open the door. Fuck yeah. And it takes you straight to the ocean, to the very bottom of the ocean. And there's a light bulb. And you turn on the light bulb, and you see me clapping Caesar's cheeks. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking what knew would you did. do, bro? What would you do? <laughs> what is this? What would I you do? I <laughs> <laughs> that's what's at the bottom of the ocean dude <laughs> me clapping steez's cheeks why would you say butt that? ass naked dude what what, what I don't would understand, you do understand bro dude i don't need dude if i saw that it would be instant suicide dude, imagine all that hard work and that's what's at the bottom of the ocean <laughs> hey phil oh how's it going bro <laughs> oh my god uh, i don't know dude that whole bit was <sighs> hey steezy <laughs> hey phil phil steezy don't go to the bottom of the ocean, dude. <laughs> Trust me. Dude, you're just not about it right now. Are you? <laughs> um, anyways. Uh, thanks so much for listening, guys. Make sure to rate us on iTunes. Listen on Spotify or wherever podcasts are available. Thanks for all the support on Patreon, by the way. Make sure to join. Uh, we have the Discord. You can talk to us whenever we're available. We're doing uh, merch giveaways, every merch drop. Um, top of that, you know, we're growing in numbers. 100,000 unique downloads last month. Hopefully this month we also get the same thing. That way we can kind of get a studio going on, have more bits, you know, add cool shit. Be able to actually throw events at y'all cities. That would be a cool thing to do eventually, you know. And uh, yeah, just interact with everyone a lot more. Uh, but yeah, other than that, love y'all like a headache. Peace. Peace.